Hello Vinyl Community, Classic Jam here. I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. Here's another episode of My Vinyl Finds. Went to the record store last week. I also just came back from the record store a few minutes ago and I have some online purchases I'd like to share with you. All these records that I got, I got some CDs, I got a tape, uh, all this music that I have, I don't have it presently in my collection, so it was so cool to go to the record store and actually pull things I didn't have before in my collection. So I had a lot of fun. Uh, I just got back and I went to a second record store and unfortunately it was closed. Don't you hate that? You look on your phone, they're open at 12 o'clock. I get over there, the whole place is just wiped clean. So and then I went to a little antique mall, which has some records over there just to see but no luck there either. So anyway, I got some really good records to show for you. Very excited. So here we go with the show. The first one is Orchestra Maneuvers in the Dark, OMD, the best of. And this came out in 88. And there was some song I was looking for called So In Love. I like that song a whole lot. And then I, what a treat it was to get a bunch of songs. Let me show you what they have on there. If you see on side one, it's a lot of that early stuff, like Electricity came out in 79, 1980, Messages, Enola Gaze came out, Souvenir, Joan of Arc. All those were mostly the, the early 80s stuff. And then in 1983, uh, Tesla Girls, Locomotion, and of course, So In Love, I think that was released back in 84 or 85, and Secret, and of course, the iconic If You Leave, from the Pretty in Pink soundtrack that came out in 86. And this last one right here is called Dreamin'. And this came out in 88, and I love that song also. So very impressed with a good synth pop, new wave, right on that edge, right in that gray area, with a really cool vibe. So very, very great artist that's, that spanned from 1979 all the way to 1988. This is a great album to have. I was very impressed with it. I listened to it two times already. I can't wait to put it on for a third time. Now, right behind that one at the record store was the single. And this one was on my want list. There we go with So In Love by OMD. And you can tell the, the store owner, he's very, very organized. He, he's it's tender love and care with his vinyl. And what he does, of course, is a UK pressing, which is, is kind of flimsy, doesn't have an inner sleeve, but it's in fantastic condition. And I just love that he takes the extra time and gets a cardboard and, of course, the poly sleeve and put it in there like that. So that's why I love going to this record store. It's just so great, so organized, really, really good, clean vinyl. All right, next up, we have the Thompson Twins. Uh, this title to this LP is called Here's to Future Days. And on here we have Lay Your Hands on Me and also King for a Day. And I think this one came out 85. So it was really cool. Really good synth pop, new wave stuff from Thompson Twins. So I really love them a lot. And you'll see from my second record store shopping, you'll see the other one I got from them. So just a little teaser. And I seen this record, I passed it up, and I said to myself, it better be back in the store next time, and it was. In Excess, Listen Like Thieves, the LP. Of course, it's got What You Need, and the second song right there is Listen Like Thieves. And I also like to get that on the 12-inch single, because I like to get the extended version. So, really cool, from 85, this came out. Uh, another one I want that's on my want list is... Uh, the One Thing, and I think that came out 84, so I like to get that one from my collection also. But anyway, finally got Listen Like Thieves, and what's so cool about it, I got a really good price for the original vinyl from 85, and I went to the store today, and he had the brand new 180 gram was a lot more expensive, so it was probably double the price, so I was very good to pick up the original, so I try to get all the original LPs that I can, if not, I bought a reissue from them. And also his reissue prices are very good. Let's see what else I got. I got a couple of CDs to show you I got from the store. This one was 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 fantastic. And 
I have moving him out by the shaman, and I knew it was going to be good. And there we go with the shaman. This came out 91. It's called Intact, and it's got moving him out on it. And another really good song on here. I don't know if you can see it with the glare. Called Hyper Real Orbit. It's uh, mixed by William Orbit. It's very good. And there's another one on here. I think of the name of it. I can't even see it. Hold on one second, my friends. Got to get the glasses out. It's hard to see these CDs. The Oxygen Restriction, I like that a whole lot too. Oh, Make It Mine. Make It Mine is on my want list right now. And uh, that's a really good one. Came out in 91. Lightspan. That's the one I'm looking for. Lightspan. When I heard this right here, I used to have a mixtape back in the day. And it had some of that good Acid House techno. That's what this is all about. Acid House and techno. And I had the song Lightspan that was on there. It's got some chanting in the background. It's got those special effects. And I'm telling you, this is a very, very unique uh, album CD right here intact it's just full of full of samples uh, experimental with the techno feel and really good acid house music so the shaman very very good CD I was so impressed with it I just listened to it over and over again okay the next CD I got uh, I told you that was on my want list make make it mine I don't have that on 12 and single yet and it's uh I got the Arrhythmics right here this is uh the greatest hits and on here, uh, Here Comes the Rain is probably my favorite Eurythmic songs of all time. And also it has Sweet Dreams on here. Uh, Love is a Stranger. Love is a Stranger is a, on my want list. And I want the 12-inch single. And it's got that remix extended version. And that particular record came out in 91. So that one right there is hard to find. It really is. And I really love that song a lot. So... I go to the bargain bins and I go shopping for my 12 inch singles, my 45s, and then I, I, I leave the store uh, before I go out to the uh, the CDs and I pick this one up right here. So it's very good. So Eurythmics and The Shaman are the two CDs that I picked up from the store. So it's really cool. Okay, online purchases. I'm going to show you one I actually got from Amazon because they no longer have it on Discogs. This one right here that I wanted to uh, take the risk on it. Uh, I seen it by a US seller, it was like 40 bucks for the album. It's like a two album collection. And it's a good dark wave, uh, synth pop, new wave, goth. It's really, really good, a good mixture of music. And this one's, I'm telling you my friends, they had two songs on here I was looking for and the uh, the 12 inch single of the album was so expensive that I, I find it was it was fitting to do go ahead and get the CD. When I went to Discogs, it did not have it anymore, and it's made from Spain from 1995. Without further ado, here it is: Guitars and Machines. On here it has uh, Trisomy 21. They're uh, they're out of France, and they got the song called The Last Song. If you ever go to YouTube, pull up the last song. It's kind of like some uh, uh, some 80s uh, uh, goth kind of uh, group that's dancing on there. And it's, it's a really good song called The Last Song. It came out 86, 87. And I actually had the album, and I didn't realize how hard it was to get the last song. The last song was never released on the 12th single. It was released on the, the album by the group. And it was called Chapter Four. It had a, a a picture of this this guy with hair or this animal, and was biting the uh, the arm or the head off or something. And I used to have that album, and I sold it on eBay because it it fetches pretty good price. It was a collectible, so I said, "Man, one day I'm going to get the last song, right?" No, I could not find it anywhere. The only place I can get it was that album in Guitars and Machines, and it's actually the first song. On here and the second song was uh, in search of uh, Penny Century it's about a Cassandra complex first time I ever heard that song I really like it a lot I like to get some more songs by Cassandra complex so
please leave me a, a comment below if you have any recommend recommendations for that group. It is really good. Uh, Signal A Out uh, 42 is on here and has a song called Submarine and what else they have? Front 242, Headhunters on here and another song on here. Let me see what the name of it is. It's called Pity for Thyself by Pose Nord. That one right there is a really good uh, synth pop, kind of EBM, kind of industrial, and kind of dark. And uh, that's actually the last track on the first CD. And this is a, actually a two CD set. So that record right there sells for $50, $60. It's kind of an EP. And like I said, the last song is the only place you can get it is off the actual album. And it sells for like $30, $40. So you, you're looking at $100 just to get those two. And on side two, uh, Teresa Me 21 has one called Logical Animals. And that's a really good song. That one right there came out in 83. And there's another one that was kind of a surprise to me was uh, Age of Love by Age of Love. That's more of a kind of a trancey tune that came out like in the, the early to mid 90s. And I actually got that one of my tapes. So... If you like dark wave, new wave, synth pop, EBM, kind of that early 90s uh, trance feel, Guitars and Machines, you can get this from Amazon. And they don't have the albums anymore, and all you can do is get the CDs. And I got this for $20. So $20, brand new, broke the seal on it. And it sounds fantastic. I was a little skeptical about the quality of the sound. It was made in Spain back in 95, and I was like, wow. Great, great CDs right here, my friends. All right, the next one, I bought. Got a little story about this one. I found a seller on Discogs. The seller used to have a, a record shop in New Orleans called Odyssey Records, and he was in business for about 33 years, and he shut the doors. I think back in 2011. Anyway, I found him on Discogs, and the name of his site is DVD Queen. If you want some really good synth pop, new wave, electro, DVD Queen on Discogs, I'm giving him a little shout out. And I'd like to give uh, uh, Vinyl New Wave a shout out because after watching his videos, this is the very record that I bought, and I really love it a lot. Psychedelic Furs. This is the ghost in you. And on the flip side is Heartbeat, the New York remix. I'm telling you, my friends, both of these songs are absolutely fantastic. Uh, I listen to it over and over. I um, actually have Heartbeat New York remix. I'm going to show you my inspiration where I found that song at. Back in 94, I bought this CD called Classic Alternatives Volume 1. And this is a view pack because I used to DJ all the time. I used to have all my view packs. I took them out of cassettes. Uh, this one has like Desire, Come and Get It by Gene Lewis Jezebel. I got Iran, So Far Away by uh, uh, Flock of Seagulls. Small Town Boy by Bronski Beat. I'm just throwing this out, my friends, right here. If you like all this synth pop, new wave stuff right here, this is called Classic Alternatives Volume 1. And it came out in 94. Great, great CD right there. Okay, the second uh, item that I bought from that seller, and I actually bought a tape, and the tape was in sealed condition. And it's actually, I have the record. I'm gonna show you the record with the tape. Here we go with the cutting remixes right there. And this came out 87, sealed condition. There you go has Sapphire, Hashim, Nitro Deluxe on there. Just really good stuff. And i like to show you the record that I have in my collection that I love the whole lot. There it is right there. So now I have the various artists cutting remixes. And also now I have the tape in my collection. And the really good song on here is the first song on side A. It's a Castle Life. Right there, it's called Chateau V by Hashim. That was never, ever released 
on the 12 inch single that's on here. And on side two, they got Al Nafish the Soul. That's the instrumental. That's killer. Love it a whole lot. But anyway, so I'm, I'm collecting tapes again and uh, I'm trying to get some in my sealed condition because I'm collecting uh, some boom boxes back from the early 80s and I'm trying to fix the cassette player and actually play my cassettes on there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Get them in uh, sealed condition where I know 100% Oh, almost 100% that's gonna sound really really good um, let's see what else I got okay put that aside okay the record shop I went to today was the same one I got those records from and I bought three records today okay I passed this up the first time I love to have this song um, it sells for like $65 in the States and this is a, a 40 year anniversary of joy divisions love will tear us apart there we go my friends joy division really good uh synth pop new wave golf they came out in 1980 so 40 years later 2020 in july they finally released the single that did it love will tear us apart love this song a whole lot and it looks like the original from 1980. So kudos to them, Joy Division. Putting out a really great record many, many years. It is nice that people still enjoy this type of music. It doesn't matter how old it is because some of this good new wave, synth pop, um, dark wave stuff are just timeless. It's so good. And I told you before, I have a second album by the same group. Here we go with Thompson Twins again. And this one's called Sidekicks. And this one came out 83 or 84. It has a Love on Your Side. And I actually have that on a 12 inch single. And it has a song called Lies on there. I haven't listened to this yet because I just bought it. So really excited about uh, giving it a spin on the techniques right there. And one more, my friends. Had to pick this one up. This is New Order. And this is Thieves Like Us. And this came out in 84. And it's a really good. And I was like really blown away. The jacket is in amazing condition. And the price was so good. I just could not pass it up. So I am very happy on my buys. Both at the record store, which I had fun. Made two trips there. And also my online buy. Something that I really wanted a lot to add to the collection so there you have it my friends these are my record finds from the record store and my online purchases and if you got any comments you got any questions please uh link it below and uh, we're going to discuss some music and thank you so much for tuning into my channel and good luck to everybody on your record collection